people want to be more like you. Really? So, <laughs> and you know, for the fate of humankind, I think it would be great to have more Elon Musks. So what do we need to do to become more like Elon? Uh, I don't know if it's, I think it maybe sounds better than it is. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I, you know, uh, I, I mean, honestly, like, like, there's a friend of mine who's got a great saying about creating a company, um, which is uh, creating, try, trying to build a company and have it succeed is like eating glass and staring into the abyss. Um, <laughs> Well, so, I mean, what tends to happen is it's sort of quite exciting for the first several months yeah. of, of starting a company, yeah. and then then reality sets in. Things don't go as well as planned. Yeah. Customers aren't signing up. The technology or the product isn't working as well as you thought, yeah. um, and um, and then can, that can sometimes be compounded by a recession, um, and uh, it can be very very painful for several years. Um, so I think. Um, Frankly, starting a company, I would advise people to have a high pain tolerance. Yeah, yeah. And thanks for reminding us of the harsh, very harsh and brutal reality of launching a startup. Um, you know, there is that Elon Musk slash Tony Stark mystique. You know, people think, you know, you are, uh, Robert Downey Jr. modeled his character, Tony Stark Iron Man, on you. It's, it's easy, it's fun. You're uh, a, a superhero titan of industry. But it's really hard. It's it's really difficult, and it's something that requires perseverance and grit. Um, do you fear that maybe in, in this generation or the the younger generation that they don't have that perseverance and grit to, to take on these really tough challenges? I think some people do. Yeah. Um, and um, but but no, I, th I think it, it it is definitely true that. I mean, maybe there are occasionally companies that get created where where you, there's not an extended period of extreme pain, um, but but I'm not aware of you know very many such instances. Yeah. Um, and um, so, but I, I do think that, uh, that, that you know new great entrepreneurs are, are born ev every day, yeah. um, and we'll continue to see amazing companies get built. Um, so. Um, yeah, but I, but I, I would uh, definitely advise people who are starting a company to expect a, a, a long period of quite high difficulty. Yeah. Um, but I mean, as long as uh, people stay super focused on creating the absolute best product or service that really delights their end customer, I, if they stay focused on that, then. Um, if, if you basically if, if if you get it such that your customers want you to mm. succeed, mm. then then you probably will. All right, uh, you have to focus on the customer and delivering for them. Yeah, make yeah. sure if your customers love you, you will you, the, your odds of success are dramatically higher. Yeah. All the entrepreneurs in this in this room, they're they're listening to that message, and you know we're running out of time, so this is the final question. Um, this is for the budding entrepreneurs in the room who could take an Elon Musk idea and run with it. I mean, quite famously, Hyperloop was the idea that you had to give away because you just don't have enough time to, to deal with it. What, what are the other ideas that you have that you would love to see another entrepreneur just take on and, and go? Well, I think there's a lot of opportunity in, in, in general in electrification of transport, so um, electric aircraft. I mm -hmm. think there's, there's a lot of opportunity there. Um, I think um, in in genetics, although it's, it's, that's sort of a thorny area, but I think that's in terms of solving some of the more um, intransigent, intransigent diseases, genetics are really key to, to solving those. Mm. Um, something that I think people may be um, only beginning to look at uh, is establishing some kind of uh, brain-computer interface. Um, so a brain-computer in interface? Yeah, at, at, the, at the neuron level. Um, so this is sort of intelli in, 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 um, intelligence augmentation as opposed to artificial intelligence. Right. Um, and I think that, that, is, that has a lot of potential. Um, you mentioned to me this to me yesterday. I really had kind of no idea what you were talking about. And then I looked up Ian Banks, mm -hmm. Neural Lace. Neural Lace. That's right. Exactly. And so it's this concept of you know, wiring the brain. So it's either we could, there, there could be a brain internet. And it could also mean that we can upload our thoughts to the cloud. 
You, you would never forget anything. <laughs> you, and you wouldn't need to take photographs. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it was incredible. I mean, it's, you, you would never forget anything. You would expand um, your, your ability to, to process information, to remember information, right? Um, but then, but then when the denial of service attack happens... <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for hacking, that could really Sorry, be awkward. Watch out for yeah. that. Um, but, but also, and then I read it can also be used to fight degenerative diseases like Parkinson's too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I think it actually would be quite, um, quite an equalizer as well. Because I think the, the, the delta between, uh, you know, it, it, like it would, it would sort of even things out, I think. You mean in, in humankind, yeah, people yeah. would be, there would be no um, education disadvantage. Everyone would yeah. be starting at the same level. Yeah. So there would be no meritocracy. No, there would be there new would be, meritocracy. There would You'd be, but it would be, the, like, the differences would be smaller. Um, the delta would be smaller, probably. Wow. And yeah. you really welcome that kind of world. All right, welcome. You asked for predictions. Okay. Um, <laughs> for predictions Sorry. are not the same as right. preferences. Um, so, I, I mean, do I think something like that is likely to occur? I think pro probably. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's incredible. Um, we could go on and on. Unfortunately, we have to wrap and leave it at that. Let's, uh, let's give it up for Elon Musk. That was really awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.